Uni. <sighs> Your punishment has been decided. Am... am I going to be killed? I don't know. Hmm. The officials will arrive in an hour. Wait here until then. Is... is Mihara awake? I cannot divulge that information. Has Mihara recovered from her injuries? I cannot divulge that information. C can't I meet her? That won't be possible. Please let me see her. Just once. I've already told you, that's impossible. You cannot meet anyone until your punishment is carried out. Such is the decree. Please, just one more time. Let me see her. No. Only for a minute. Just for a brief moment. Just let me see her face. In case you've forgotten, you have committed a crime. Many people lost their lives because of you. They, too, had things they wished for. People whom they wanted to see again. <laughs> now they can no longer meet their loved ones. So you don't get to meet with anyone either. <laughs> I... If you were smart, you would beg for forgiveness from the victims and await your punishment. <laughs> I'll see you momentarily. doing I'm so sorry so so sorry <laughs> I'll atone for my sins for the rest of my life I'll never stop begging for forgiveness get up even if I don't get to see her just tell her one thing one sentence please I said get up I'll accept any punishment no matter what happens to me, I won't challenge it. Denounce me, curse me, beat and torture me. I'll accept any punishment that's given to me, and I'll do whatever I'm told. Because I've sinned, I know this. I've taken other people's loved ones away from them. It was wrong. So wrong. I'll spend the rest of my life begging for forgiveness, even if I have no hopes of ever receiving it. Please, let me say one thing to Mihara. Just one thing! <sighs> please, please! <laughs> Help me! Just this once! <sighs> Fine. I'll hear you out. What is it that you want to say? How are you feeling? Good. No issues with my vision, hearing, smell, taste, or touch. Any headaches? <laughs> None whatsoever. The doctors did such a great job treating me that I don't feel any pain at all, unfortunately. Unfortunately? Well, why would you say such a thing? Your brain damage was so severe that it was almost impossible to regenerate with the nymph alone. Why do you think you were taken to the repair center immediately after being deployed from the Macillus Research Institute? That's how serious the situation was. Hmm. 
I guess. What the... Why are you being so nonchalant? You should be taking this more seriously. If you ask me, you should be resting at the repair center for a while longer. Why did Missilis suddenly request you to return in such a hurry? The higher-ups probably believe that they've allowed me ample time. Usually, we're asked to return straight after being deployed. The fact that they allowed me to visit the repair center in the first place is already quite generous. Mm. Through the data I received, I've learned what kind of person I was in the past. From the records stored in Nymph, I've also recalled how to use my abilities. I'm also not feeling any pain. So I think it's time to get back to work. If you feel even the slightest bit of pain, be sure to come straight to the hospital, okay? It doesn't matter what time of day. Yes, yes. I understand. Ugh. Honestly. <laughs> you should really try and take this a little more seriously, Mihara. Even though a new nymph was used to regenerate the old data, since the brain itself was physically damaged, we are still unsure as to whether there will be any side effects. Even while we were conducting surgery, the nymph thought it was being physically attacked at one point and went wild. If there are still parts of your brain which have sustained damage, we might not be able to treat them, depending on the severity. Hmm. So, if you feel any pain at all, you must come to us immediately. Understood? All right, yes. I'll keep that in mind. Don't you two worry yourselves too much. Fine. If I keep belaboring the point, I'll just be nagging you, so I'll stop here. Thanks for taking care of me. Don't mention it. We're doctors. Taking care of patients is what we do. <laughs> That's right! <laughs> well, you're quite the skilled doctors. Oh, by the way, Mihara, when you return to Masilis, are you going to visit her? Yes. I need to go see her. Uni. Hello there. Hmm. I believe I've seen you in the data. Mana, was it? Yes. That's right. I heard you were sent to the repair center. How are you feeling? Much better now, thanks to the good doctors. Glad to hear it. As I'm sure you're aware, Siyuan sent an urgent summons for you. I heard it was because she wanted me to quit lazing about and get back to work. Apparently the message was delivered sans filter. That it was. Siyuan has ordered that the Wardress Squad be put back into action. After it was revealed that the culprits behind this terror attack were Nikkei's belonging to Missilis, our reputation has plummeted. We need results, and we're willing to do anything to achieve them. Therefore, every single one of our available squads, Matisse, MMR, Mighty Tools, Electric Shock, they're all being issued one command, and one command only, to fix the company's image by any means necessary. I see. For that reason, the Wardress Squad has been ordered to go up to the surface and take down some rare Rapture types. In other words, what we were originally meant to do. Correct. Does that mean I no longer need to guard Suen? According to the data I've received, that appears to have been our primary responsibility. In light of everything that has occurred, that will no longer be necessary. Hmm. <laughs> Makes sense. She was harmed by those who should have protected her. I can see why she doesn't want to keep us around anymore. <sighs> I apologize for asking something so obvious. No, it's fine. When should we head to the surface? As soon as possible. Within a week at the latest. Got it. I should hurry and go see Uni. 
Okay. Hmm. Can I ask you to show me the way? Is it okay for Yuni to be outside? Didn't Suen oppose it? Like I told you, we have to achieve results by all the means at our disposal. It would appear that using Yuni was deemed more advantageous than keeping her confined. Hmm. <laughs> Typical Macillus. Besides, she has already been punished. Punished? She's a terrorist who caused unprecedented casualties. A danger to society who nearly assassinated a CEO of one of the Big Three. It is a grave crime that she committed, and as a consequence of her actions, she is no longer what she used to be. What do you mean? We've arrived. This is where they're keeping Uni in solitary confinement. Mm. Go inside. Hmm, all right. Hmm? <laughs> what? Who is this? They're too big to be Uni. <sighs> Where's Uni? I assure you that we're in the correct location. This is where Uni is being kept. Uh, then... could it be...? <laughs> Uni? Yes. That person over there is your partner, Uni. <gasps> Th that's Uni. What is this? I thought Yuni was a Nikkei. Like I told you, her appearance has been altered. As part of her punishment? Is that why she looks like this? That's correct. I see. <laughs> Can she not speak? No. All of her language capabilities have been removed. Yuni used her words to perpetrate her crime. Mm, that's right. As for her appearance, although it is far from typical, she can still be classified as a Nikkei. Therefore, her nymph was forcibly reinstalled. However, unless permitted, she will not be able to use any of her unique abilities. Within the Ark, she is permitted only to frequent the Rehabilitation Center and the MMR Research Lab. If, after going up to the surface, she does not return to the Ark promptly and punctually, her head will explode. What? Do you see those restraints covering her chest? Restraints? The one with the heart on it? Inside that is a bomb, with a greater power than the chokers used by Exotic. Uh, a bomb? If she ventures too far from the Ark, or if she doesn't come back and get it swapped out for a new one, it will detonate. So, as I said before, you must not forget to have her report into the Ark regularly, even while she is carrying out a mission. Yes, I understand. Hmm. Her legs. Have they fused them with Rapture's parts? Yes. As you are a squad intended to eliminate Raptures, some upgrades were deemed necessary. She underwent experimental surgery to see if enhancing Nikkei's with Rapture parts was possible. Did Enoch decide that? No. 
Ink's decision was to reinstall the removed nymph and have her dedicate the rest of her life to serving humanity to compensate for the harm she caused. At least, that's my understanding of the situation. The order to carry out this surgery came from Jien. Jien? Ah, right. You've been redeployed, so you wouldn't know. Jien is Suen's half-sister. Suen has a half-sister? If Jien is so important, why isn't she mentioned in any official databases? She prefers staying out of the public eye. Only those closest to Suen, like you and the MMR squad, know of her existence. In that sense, her involvement in Yuni's punishment this time is truly an exceptional case. Why didn't Suen handle it herself? Suen gets a searing headache whenever Yuni is brought up. I heard that Jien reported it to Suen, but I don't know if she agreed to it. Hmm. I see. <laughs> That's all I know. Do you have any more questions? Does Yuni still have her memories? You mean before the punishment? Yes. In the process of reinstalling the nymph, it is common to enact a memory wipe in order to prevent a mind switch. We cannot know for sure if Yuni underwent that process. All the experimental procedures were conducted in secret by a team composed only of GN and those she designated. Not even the MMR researchers could access files on it. I see. Do you have any more questions? No, I think that's all. All right, then I'll take my leave. Thank you for showing me the way. Sorry about that. We were talking amongst ourselves and acting like you didn't exist. We should have been more considerate. My goodness, I haven't even introduced myself yet. Hello, I'm Mihara. You're Yuni, right? I believe we're supposed to be working together. Uh, we're a team now, so we should try and get along. So, what do you like, Yuni? Huh? Yuni? What's wrong? Are you hurt? What's wrong? Good, that's it. Try and calm down. Good job. What was that? Were you trying to tell me something? I can't understand what you're saying. It feels like she wants to tell me something. But does she even understand what I'm saying? It almost sounds like she's crying. But it also sounds like she's intentionally repeating the same sound over and over. Is it just my imagination? Hmm. Um. If this is what our communication is going to be like, then we're supposed to be going out on missions together. This could be a problem.
Hi, Uni. How have you been? Can you eat? Did you sleep well? Again, that same sound. Is it really just a crying sound? Can't you make any other sounds? Hmm. Forget it. It's nothing. Hi, Uni. Have you been well today? We should prepare for the missions we've got to do up on the surface. So why don't we come up with some hand signals today? Hand signals just for us. Huh? That sound again. This really is a problem. Communication is impossible like this. And we don't have much time. <laughs> I will say that you look cuter each time I see you. Maybe I could try talking to you more. Coo, 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 coo. You're clearly speaking with a deliberate rhythm. I know you're doing more than crying. You're trying to tell me something. Uni, what are you trying to say? What do you want to tell me? This can't go on. I have to figure this out somehow. Have you ever dealt with wild animals? Excuse me? Did you say wild animals? Yeah. Uni has been fraternizing with some rough customers in the rehabilitation center, so she's become a bit feral. Hmm. Uh, are you saying that Uni's demeanor is savage in nature, even around you? To the point where you can't communicate? That's not it. She can't speak, but she still listens to me. <laughs> Actually, she's kinda cute. So she listens to you, but you're unable to communicate? That doesn't make any sense. Pepper... Let's not dig too deep into this. I'm sure there are numerous reasons why Mihara chose to use the wild animal metaphor to describe the situation. Isn't that right, Mihara? Precisely. Thank you for being so considerate. Ah! Uh, oh, I see. I'm sorry for prying without knowing anything. It's okay. That tells me you're concerned about me. So thanks, Pepper. Mihara, do you want to speak with the person you're talking about? No. I think that's impossible for many reasons. Her not being able to speak is a form of punishment. I see. So, you just want to be able to be understood? Yes. Just being able to communicate is enough. With how she is now, I can't imagine us being able to carry out missions together. Hmm. If communication is your main goal, I think you'd be better off consulting with an animal expert. An animal expert? Have you heard of the Happy Zoo Squad? Hmm. I'm pretty sure I've seen their name pop up in some documents. They're a squad formed for the purpose of animal protection. That's right. Animals are their specialty, and one of them is especially skilled in handling wild animals. Oh, you mean Leona? She would definitely be helpful. My thoughts exactly. Leona? She's a Nike who walks around with a super cute and oversized lion. Ugh, come again? Timmy is the cutest, and he's huge! 
That makes him even cuter. <laughs> <laughs> really? I'd love to meet him in person. Would you like us to contact Leona? Would that be okay? Of course. I'm sure she'd be more than happy to help. Um, is your friend able to come out here with you? <clears throat> Sorry, but I don't think that's possible. Leona would have to come to the Rehabilitation Center. So she'd have to sign a confidentiality agreement? Hmm, probably. All right. I'll run it by her and see if she's okay with it. Thank you. I'll make sure on my end to get approval for a visitor at the center. Sounds good. I'll contact you when I've got news. Nice to meet you. My name's Mihara. And I'm Leona. This is Timmy. Oh my. I've heard a lot about you, Timmy. You're just as cute and cuddly as everyone says. <laughs> Timmy's a bit shy. Anyway, Mary told me the whole sordid tale. So you want to know how to talk to someone who's become beastly? Thank you for coming. I know I'm asking a lot of you. Not at all. In fact, this is quite easy. Now, can you take me to this person you speak of? Hi, Yuni. It's me, Mihara. <sighs> I brought some guests today. Would you like to come out and meet them? <sighs> Wait! Don't tell me this is... Yes. This is my partner, Yuni. This is what has become of her. I know the name. She was a Nikkei from your squad. But her legs! She may look a bit different, but she's still a Nikkei. These changes to her appearance were part of her punishment. I see. And I presume the reason why we had to sign a confidentiality agreement is because this is supposed to be kept under wraps. Precisely. They don't want word leaking out of these experiments with Nikkei's and Raptures being merged. I can imagine. It would be the bombshell to end all bombshells. <sighs> so... she can't speak anymore? No. That's why I asked for your help. I understand. We'll do our best. <sighs> Hello. <laughs> I'm Leona. This lion is Timmy. <clears throat> May I come closer? <laughs> hmm. Mihara. I'm sorry, but can you move to the door? Huh? Sure. As I thought, Yuni can't take her eyes off you. No matter who appears or speaks to her, you seem to be her top priority. I am? Yes. If you come forward again, her eyes will follow you. <sighs> You're right. This may make it a bit difficult for me to understand what Yuni is saying. The most important point in communication is a desire in both parties to convey a message to the other. Yuni, however, doesn't seem to care about anyone but you. Conveying a message? Whether it's an expression of panic, love, or any other emotion, if someone doesn't look at the other person and doesn't have a genuine desire to convey anything, it doesn't matter who you put in front of them. They simply won't be able to converse, regardless of any linguistic barriers. I see. In other words, Yuni wants to talk to you. I'd say that's a good sign, wouldn't you? 
You want to talk to me, Uni? Ooh. Hmm. It might not be easy. But if you both want to talk, there is still hope. First, let's try communicating the way I talk to Timmy. First, you have to look into each other's eyes. How come? There's a wealth of information contained in the eyes. You can understand a lot, even without words. <sighs> Uni. Can you lower your head a little bit? I want to look into your eyes. <gasps> hmm. Maybe she doesn't understand. If it seems like your words aren't getting through, try expressing yourself with your body. Use physical touch to communicate. Physical touch? Uni, come here. Huh? Uh, she really approached me. Next, cup her cheeks with your hands. Uni, I'm just going to touch you for a moment, okay? And look into her pupils. Hmm. Oh my goodness. You have such beautiful eyes, Uni. <laughs> it's a shame I couldn't see them all that well. What with them being hidden behind this mask. <laughs> I should have looked closer earlier. I should have tried harder. I'm sorry, Uni. Are you saying no? Do you understand what I'm saying now? <sighs> Have you understood everything? I've been saying this whole time? <sighs> I should have known earlier. There's so much to see in your eyes. I'm glad I finally got a good look at you. I feel more like I can face the world now. <sighs> Uni, could you tell me again? What you've been trying to say to me all this time? <sighs> Uni? <sighs> Is it a hard story to tell? Can you not look me in the eye while you say it? Then, could you tell me? I want to know what you're saying. Thank you so much for today. You did all the work. All I did was show you the way. I couldn't have done it without your advice. Thanks to you, I know Uni understands what I'm saying. That alone is more than I could have asked for. I'm glad I could help. So, do you have any idea what Uni wants to say? To be honest, I'm still not sure. However, the fact she's hesitant to speak while looking into my eyes bothers me. She has something she wants to say to me. But it feels too hard to say while looking at me. What could that be? Hmm... Whenever Timmy does that, it usually means he's done something wrong. Oh, really? Or when he wanted something but was too embarrassed to ask for it. Wants something. One thing is for sure. The answer to this problem lies within Uni. I was thinking the same. If you can figure out what kind of person Uni was in the past, and what she thought of you, you'll know what it is that she wants to tell you. You're right. As long as you don't give up, and keep trying to understand her, Uni will eventually be able to get through to you and convey what she wants to tell you. 
Fortunately, she clearly has a desire to talk to you. I'm sure you'll be able to have a conversation like before. Thank you. I think I have an idea of how to proceed. Glad to hear it! <laughs> Sounds like Timmy is cheering you on as well. <laughs> Thank you, Timmy. Well, we ought to get going. Next time we meet, I hope to see you both talking to each other. I'll do my best. Hmm. Uni's past and my past. I wonder if that place is still intact. The Wardress Squad. In the wake of Project Matisse, Suen, the Macillus Industry CEO, created Nikkei's harnessing her unique technology. Having failed to measure up to the feats accomplished by her predecessors, she intended for the Nikes from Project Wardress to establish her as a force to be reckoned with in the field of Nike development. Mihara and Yuni. The Wardress Squad, consisting of two Nikes, was initiated with the success of Matisse in mind. Aiming to eliminate heretics, the project also intended to develop Nikes which specialized in taking down raptures. However, the Wardress Squad's abilities failed to meet expectations. Their attempts to eliminate their first target, the Rapture Chatterbox, were unsuccessful, and their missions often resulted in failure. Furthermore, it was revealed Suen had a commander carrying out illegal jobs for her. As a result, Yuni and Mihara were to be subjected to a memory wipe. Eventually, the project became more of a burden than a blessing, and something that was to be kept from the outside world. Within Macillus, it came to be known as Suen's Folly. Hmm... <sighs> Uni... I knew it. <sighs> everything has been disposed of. They took everything for reference and she's a criminal. What's left? Just trash. Hmm? Photo? Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Is this... Suen? I recognize this pink hair. My head... It hurts. Ugh, do we really need to take this? Uh... The team said it needed to be taken for He's right. The PR team requested it. They said they would use it for an article later. What kind of article? Masilis' new CEO, Suen, finally perfects independent Nike manufacturing technology. That's what they were thinking for the title. It's a good one. <laughs> The PR team is really going all out this time around. Suen, can you help us out? <sighs> Fine, I'll do it. Me, come here. Can't stand. 
Of course. Come here. You know. Stand next to Suen? Don't just stand there like a bunch of idiots. Stand up straight for the picture. You're Nikes that I created personally. I can't have you going around looking foolish. Okay, Suen. <laughs> Great. And you photo together. I'm happy. It's a day. Isn't it? Mihara? Mm. This memory. It's... it's uni. Uh. They said they cleared everything. But there are still photos left. Hmm. Mana? What brings you here? The fact you've come to Uni's room tells me... You want to know more about Uni and me, is that right? Is that what you think? Yes. You should have been able to glean information about your past from the data, right? I didn't expect it to contain everything. Especially stories pertaining to a convicted criminal like Uni. Certainly at least those would be omitted, right? That's right. A newly manufactured Nikkei cannot have sympathy for criminals or be otherwise influenced by their ideology. Especially in light of the fact you were suspected of being Uni's accomplice. They would have been extra vigilant about erasing such information. That's why I came here. I hoped to find something in Uni's old room that could tell me more about her. But there's nothing except this photo. There's hardly any reason for them to leave a criminal's belongings intact. So, Mana, could you tell me? About us? I'm afraid I can't do that. Fine. Then why did Uni do what she did? I can't tell you. Why did she shoot Suin? I can't tell you. Okay, so I can't ask about anything related to the attack. Then, can I ask about Siwen? What about her? Did Siwen hate us? Uh... I heard we were always together. Did she keep us close simply so she could hurl abuses our way? Uh-huh. Because we were failures? I... don't know. Only Siwen would know what Siwen was thinking. <laughs> I suppose you're right. Maybe I should go find her then. Mihara. Sorry. I went too far, I know. But I hope you understand how desperate I am. Why are you so curious? Why? At first, it was in hopes of making our communication a little smoother. For the sake of these upcoming missions. But as I met with Yuni day after day, I found myself becoming curious. I wondered what kind of person Yuni was. She was a Nikkei in the same squad as yourself. She committed a terrorist act. And mistakenly shot you in the head when her intended target was Suen. What more is there to know? It's just... Yuni seems to desperately be trying to tell me something. What do you mean? Coo, 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 coo. She's always making this sound. Every time she sees me, she'll look me right in the eyes and make that sound. <sighs> At first, I thought it was just her moaning. But once I looked into her eyes, I knew it was something else. She's trying to tell me something. <sighs> She's given me that same intense stare day after day. Isn't it natural for me to wonder what she's saying? <sighs> Mana, I'm not denying that. Yuni carried out that attack. I know she killed numerous people. I know she shot me while attempting to kill Suen. I'm not even asking to be able to communicate back and forth with her. I only want to know... 
what she's trying to say to me. That's all I want to know. That one desperate sentence. Even though she's lost her ability to speak, after being fused with a rapture and having her nymph reinstalled, she's still urgently trying to tell me something, and I want to know what it is. Even if everyone else doesn't listen, I feel like I have to. I feel like I must hear it. <sighs> Just this once, won't you help me? Please. You sound like she did. <sighs> mm. Technically speaking, no records pertaining to criminals can be passed on to others. We must leave no room for potential bad influences. No matter how many times you ask me, I can't tell you anything. <sighs> I see. However... This video, filmed under my supervision, has been determined to be meaningless, as it contains no information related to the terrorist act. Therefore, I will dispose of it right here and now. Uh. This is just meaningless trash. And given that this is a criminal's living space, not even extraneous trash should be left unattended. So... You should dispose of it. <sighs> Mana... What are you waiting for? Go take out the trash. Hmm... Thank you. Go, quickly. Before I take out the trash myself. I will. Thank you. Really. <sighs> the sentence she's trying to say... What you wanted to say so badly? No, no! I haven't said it yet! Then hurry up. We need to go soon. Yes, yes! I understand! Mm. Mihara... Uh, I... Mihara... Is that all you have to say? No! That's not what I want to say! I... What I want to say is... That... Uh... Sort... No. If I had to say one sentence... Does your... Uh... Mm. <sighs> That's enough. We don't have time for this. Wait a moment! I understand. I... I'll say it now. You've got one minute. Then we need to go. I understand. <sighs> Mihara. Uni. Can we talk one more time? Can you tell me that sentence? The one you wanted to say to me. Can you tell me one more time? Oh, so, so that 
was what you wanted to say. This was what you wanted to ask me? Cuckoo? <sighs> That's what you've been saying all this time. That single question. <sighs> it's okay. It doesn't hurt. My head doesn't hurt at all. <laughs> you don't have to be sorry. I'm not in pain anymore. Every time I see you and speak with you, my heart aches. <sighs> His pain in my heart tells me that my past self is still alive. It tells me that I haven't forgotten my memories with you. So, you didn't kill me, Hara. I forgive you. <laughs> Your other crimes are serious. You may never be forgiven for them. No matter what punishment you receive. But as for what you did to me, I can forgive you. I will forgive you. <laughs> Yuni, seeing me must have been painful for you. It must have hurt. Yes, we will feel alive by causing each other pain, even though we've lost our words and forgotten our memories. By seeing each other and feeling the pain, we will get through this together and atone for what we did. It's Mihara. What? I have something to tell you. Ugh. You? How did you get in here? I wanted to see your face with my own eyes. I came here to ask for a favor. I don't have time for the likes of you! Get out! Do you dislike seeing me too? Of course I do. What makes you think you're any different? You're the same as that pathetic heap of junk. I shouldn't have created either of you in the first place. If I hadn't, I wouldn't be in this mess. Oh, my head's killing me! I thought perhaps the fact that I'd taken a bullet for you would warm you up to me somewhat. But apparently I was wrong. What is this? You want a reward or something? If you hadn't swapped senses with me and gotten yourself shot in the head in the first place... <sighs> uh, my head... Calm down, Suen. I'm not here to ask for a reward. Then what is it? Please put a necklace like Yuni's around my neck. Necklace? You mean that restraining device? Yes, that's right. Did that memory wipe knock a few screws loose or something? Do you have any idea what that restraint is? I know what it is. It's a bomb. And you still want it? Yes. Can you make it so that if Yuni's bomb goes off, mine does as well? What? Of course, the reverse can also be true. If mine goes off, so will Yuni's. Are you crazy? I heard they had to reconstruct half your brain because it'd been blown off. Is your mind really that messed up? 
<laughs> it might seem that way. But I'm serious. This is my last wish. Please, Yuan. <laughs> Who'd have thought? Such endearing friendship between two rust buckets. You want to die that badly, huh? Fine. Go die with that monster while on a mission. It was stupid of me to drag dead weight like you two around. I should have turned you into monsters earlier and left you on the surface forever. Then I at least could have gotten some use out of you. <sighs> Fine then. Put on the bomb necklaces and die together! You're nothing but a blemish on my reputation. Trash not even capable of being proper Nikes. Stupid scrap metal. How dare you point a gun at me after I imbued you with so many abilities? How dare you? I created you! Suen. <laughs> Fine. I'll grant your wish. You can fulfill your purpose and die. Don't let me see your face. Ever. Again. Understand? Hmm. Yes. I won't. Now get out. I don't want to see you anymore. Hmm. Suen. Didn't you hear me? Thank you. For everything. <gasps> really. What? Did your memory come back? No. I don't have my old memories. Then what are you thanking me for? I don't know the reason. But when I think about not being able to see you again, I feel a bit sad. What? To me, you're not such a bad person. <laughs> the Warger Squad may no longer be your pride and joy. But we will fulfill the mission for which we were born, even if it costs us our lives. That is the path Yuni and I must take to atone. Get out. Take care, Suen. Because things went wrong once, you think you can tell me what to do? Thank you for everything? You don't even have any memories. Talking about feelings without memories. Scrap metal. Scrap metal. You think anything will change if you're gone? I don't need refuse like you around. I said I don't need you! I... <laughs> it's nothing. Just no good scrap. It left just like I told it to. That's all. That's all. Oh. <gasps> My head hurts. <gasps> it hurts. <gasps> Mihara. Yes. Open your eyes. Can you see clearly? Yes, I can. Who am I? Someone I'm grateful to know. Answer properly. <laughs> Mana. Vision, hearing, smell, taste, and touch are all normal? Yes, everything is normal. Okay, no issues. Come down. We installed the restraining necklace you requested. And swapped your body for another. <sighs> no wonder I feel different. It wasn't the necklace, but the body replacement. 
What's the reason for the swap? It was requested by Siwen. She said she had no use for it, so you could have it. Where did it come from? It was a body prepared to replace yours after your first mission. After taking promotional photos with you, Siwen wanted to make you look stronger. She planned to use this body when announcing Project Wardress. But since we failed to take down Chatterbox, there never was a public announcement, rendering this body useless. That's right. <sighs> <sighs> it may be later than intended, but I'll still make good use of it. Tell Suen I said thank you. I will. One last thing. The necklace you're wearing must be swapped periodically for a new one, just like Uni's. Don't forget to come along with Uni regularly to get a new one installed. As per your request, if either of you misses the deadline to have a new one installed, both will explode. <laughs> Living a life with bombs around our necks. Sounds kind of thrilling. Huh. <laughs> Just kidding. I'll come on time. I intend to live well and long with Uni, so that she can atone for her sins. May I ask you one thing? Sure. Why are you doing all this? I knew you had a deep bond, but I still don't understand this. Do you mean this necklace? Yes. I don't understand this compulsion to die together. Why are you going through all this for someone who shot you in the head? Because... Because I heard that desperate plea. A poor child who was unable to get along with others. Was desperately begging for my forgiveness. If she's to spend her life begging for forgiveness, I don't want her doing it alone. That's all. I see. Thank you for your answer. Thank you for listening to me. See you next time, Mana. Yes. Take care. Uni, look ahead. It's the surface. It's my first time. But it's also been a long time for you, right? Don't you remember? <laughs> Your memory seems a bit foggy. Uni, it's the surface. This is where we prove ourselves. Let's take down Chatterbox and make Suen happy. Uni? <coughs> Are you okay? <coughs> it's all a bit intimidating, isn't it? It's okay. I'll always be by your side. <coughs> Finding a rare rapture within a month. That will be our first goal. <coughs> Shall we? <coughs> <coughs>